Hi, this is Kat. And Carson. Today we're going to talk about um, a very beautiful song called DNA. Uh, DNA is actually a combination of two songs, Sound of Light and The Voice of Many Colors. Mm -hmm. And Kat wanted to know the story behind DNA, and you really have to talk about the song separately. And I can say, Voice of Many Colors was inspired um, on a full moon night with some magic mushrooms. And the song just um, flowed out of that evening. Now, uh, Sound of Light has a little bit more of a story to it. There's a chorus in it, and it goes, uh, We are old and we are new. We are we and we are you. We sing the song of life. It is the sound of light. I call that the Ancestors Chorus. Mm. And I got it while I was at uh, Table Bluff, which mm -hmm. is a place of power, uh, the home homelands of the Wiat tribe mm -hmm. who were displaced. Um, there's very powerful energy there. And I think it's good to connect with it and, um, and bring some of it into this song to share with the world. And I think there's a healing and, um, and discovery there. Okay, so that was the, that was the um, chorus. Off which song? This is Sound of Light. Oh, the Sound of Light, okay. Right. And then for the verses of the song, this side of the story, I had taken my great nephew up to Portland, Oregon. And um, I dropped him off, and for whatever reason, somehow I had uh, come across some LSD. And it, it had been years since I'd actually taken LSD. It was very interesting. It was very good acid, too, by the way, I must say. Anyway, so I took it, and I had gotten myself a room at a hostel in this kind of artsy section of Portland. And... Um, and I went out walking around the neighborhood, and I remember I, it was getting late, and I, because of the LSD, I had this smile on my face that was, and I remember, <laughs> I remember thinking it was probably illegal to be feeling this high and to be smiling this big late at night walking the streets. And you know, right as I thought that, I looked up and there was a billboard for a dentistry company, and it said, for the smile of your life. Oh. And that's just kind of, <laughs> LSD works like that. You get funny little things like that that happen. But anyway, so I went, I decided I better get back to the, the hostel and get safe for the night. But I didn't want to get in the dorm room with everybody. So they had a beautiful garden and uh, a gazebo with latticework and arbor. And there were flowering vines over it, still fragrant from the day. And it was a full moon that night. And, um, and I sat there and the moon, well, it's kind of hard to describe what happened. It was like she telescoped down and came and was looking right in my face. Mm. And she was beautiful. She reminded me of Marilyn Monroe, <laughs> <laughs> which is really kind of funny. Um, and then she sang me a song, this really sweet song. The moon? The moon sang me a song about how we were going to liberate the sound of our symbols. Wow. And symbols, um, oh my goodness, what a topic symbols are because they're not just shapes somewhere. They hold information, they hold energy, and if you know how to use them, they're a tool. And um, well, that's another story all mm -hmm. in itself. So, uh, after the moon sang the song, I got interested in symbols. And then I just started thinking about, you know, what the moon sang to me. What does the moon sound like? What does a star sound like? What do our symbols sound like? And then for that matter, what does the color red sound like? Wow. And those thoughts, created the song wow. Sound of Life. 
So you could say that LSD totally inspired you to the song? <laughs> totally, man. <laughs> well, I guess a lot of famous songs are inspired by that. Yeah. By things like that, by experiences like that. I mean, whatever your like attitude towards things like that is, a lot of popular music, like legendary music, has been created that way, right? I think so, because it's an it's out fact. of the ordinary... It's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> it I is. I mean, it is. It really is. Yeah. It's and so it's an out of ordinary yeah. experience, so it creates more of an impact on you. Right. But I've got to say that I write songs all the time without being in the influence of, of those kind of things. So I don't want to say you have to do oh. that to be able to uh, create. Uh-huh. Yeah. And so what about the goddess song? Like the, wait, wait, that, so that is DNA. The is voice of many colors. Sound is, of light, voice of many colors. That's what you the call the goddess song. That's the voice of many colors. And that was inspired on a full moon mushroom trip. Yeah. Yeah. So they oh. meld together. Also, oh, LSD and mushrooms <laughs> yeah, created LSD and DNA. Mushrooms. My most magic song. So... So how did the voice of many colors come to life? How did it come to life? Yeah. Um, it, you said it got inspired by a mushroom. Right, right. Experience. Well, when I get those inspirations, usually it's like music and, and words together. Sometimes I get a um, music first and then I write the words to it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I get the words first and then get music to it. But that one came together. Yeah. Hmm. But what what was it? Did you channel the voice? Because it's kind of the voice of the goddess, right? Right. In the song. So I'm just curious, like, how this voice came to you. Did it come as a voice? Did you channel it? Did you? Oh, it's, I, you know, it's like, uh, I don't hear regular voices talking to, well, now sometimes I do. There's the little voice.